Hi, Laura here at La Vie Trial Free reporting back on the November on the Ground question. Well, the November on the Ground question was a two-parter on child free travel. What's been one of your best child free travel adventures and or what advice do you have for great child free travel? First, thanks to all of you who wrote in here as well as on child free discussion forums out there. One thing I can say from all the responses I got is lots of child free love to travel and travel they have. They also have some great advice to give on child free travel. I thought that the best way to report back on the first question was would be to summarize just what people wrote in about, as well as um, over the course of the next month or so, also post excerpts from people's specific trips. So watch for that. People wrote in a wide variety of things, really, from having taken trips around the world to really short trips close to home. But they did talk about trips that really from just about every country on the planet, I'm not kidding, from, of course, the United States, Europe, uh, Asia, India, Israel, South America, uh, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and more. But really three things uh, stood out with what all the people wrote in about. One was lots of trips to Hawaii. The child free seemed to love their trips to Hawaii. <laughs> Two really were um, road trips, whether it be um, on motorbikes or by car, and it could be just say short jaunts for the weekend or to longer trips across countries and farther. And three, lots of uh, stories about solo travel, whether it be also you know by car or backpacking or camping. When it came to advice. Um, we were maybe, let me give you five things anyway that people tended to to talk about the most. One was really just don't travel during standard holidays. Travel in the off season or when kids are supposed to be in school. Uh, two is if you're flying, don't travel during the prime time, family time. You know, instead try to fly, fly early in the morning or later in the evening. Three, uh, where to stay. Maybe try to avoid hotels a little bit more uh, or resorts that aren't distinctly adult only. Maybe try renting apartments or, or uh, booking B&Bs a bit more. And four, I love this one. This theme was um, uh, was to be be, uh, be brave in your travel choices. As I think one woman put it. Let me see what I can read what she Yes, a quote from her is, uh, uh, be the fearless child-free adventurer. She says, parents typically don't take their children on treks through the rainforest or for a crawl under the pyramids of Egypt. Don't be fearful of going to less westernized countries. With a little research and planning, you'll see places that most people with children will never see. I like that. And five, really, you know, expect that any trip won't be totally child-free. One guy says wisely, it's up to you. It's who you go with that make the difference. Yes, if you encounter a disruptive child in your travels, you'll have someone to rant with who agrees with you. <laughs> I like that too. Now, okay, how would I answer this question? Well, I've done a fair amount of traveling in my life, but I have to say that one of my favorite trips was seven weeks in Australia and New Zealand a few years ago. And my husband and I, we, we visited uh, large urban areas and hit the open road where we didn't see people for miles. So I loved the combination of the urban and the rural, and I really enjoyed the people from both countries. And when it comes to advice, you know, I tend to agree with the, the top five that I, I spoke to just a moment ago, but I'd add one that um, has to do with more of the theme of don't do what parents and kids would do. I think one of the reasons my husband and I don't encounter many kids on our travels is that we do things that just aren't for kids, like taking, uh, we love to take walking architectural tours, and we love going to museum exhibits, things like that. So when it comes to my travels, I'm about to embark on my next trip on December 9th. I head off to Rio, Buenos Aires, and to the Patagonia. 
and I won't be back until the end of January or close to it. So I'm going to be blogging the whole way and I'm going to give some travel log, travel log highlights and really also want to answer some child free related questions of yours along the way. So to that end, the December on the ground question and maybe even January, we'll see, uh, is what child free related questions do you have for the people of Brazil and Argentina? While I'm on the road, I'll do my best to be the on-the-ground interviewer to answer your questions as much as I can. So click that this question to your right in the on-the-ground questions section. Write in your questions, and I'll report back this time from the road.